all so very much for coming in for that really warm welcome. This is our 8th grade men's ensemble. These are the male members of our 8th grade chorus, which is seated over on this side of the room. Singing uh, Born Born in Bethlehem has a really fun arrangement, giving them that sampling for what men's chorus sounds like. In our program here with Woods, our freshmen, when they go into the choral program, uh, all the men and women split into men's chorus and women's choral. So this is giving them a quick little sampling of what it would be like to learn a piece just for the guys. Uh, our next group, the Exploratory Chorus, please. Okay, as they take the stage, this is one of our, um, now I don't want to say beginner courses, this is a sample course. We offer a number of exploratory ensembles and classes in our, in our program here at the middle school. This is an opportunity for students to see if there's something that they really are passionate about, something that they really like doing. So this group meets for a semester, so they'll be done with my class on December 16th. Um, and they've been working all year towards this program and this moment. Um, it is made up of both 7th and 8th graders, and we actually have a number of uh, our guys who are on the basketball team who had a really close game, I heard, over in Milford tonight, and we're really glad they could be with us. Um, but as I take the stage, let's welcome, this is Exploratory Chorus. <laughs> to start with with this group because it was because it was all in unison meaning all the voices regardless of a male female high low they're all singing the same notes at the same time this next piece 30 second fa la la 
uh, is not. It's where we're going to be singing in four different parts. We have our high voice males, low voice males, high voice females, and uh, low voice females. And they're going to be singing four different parts during this piece. What's nice is it's only 30 seconds long. So this is 30 second fa la la. <coughs> but nothing that's overwhelming. Our last piece is totally different than anything else in the program. Since this is the last time that this group will be singing together, I also gave them uh, a little bit of a pop cover uh, in a choral sense. So this is called Feel It Still, originally recorded by Portugal the Man. Um, it had made its appearance on, um, this was a single for a while, but then it was on TikTok for a little bit. So this is kind of a fun one to end their portion of the concert. So this is Feel It Still. Thank you. 
And in this transition, I want to take a few moments to thank some people who don't quite get enough thanks. Thank a couple of people who don't get enough thanks. So I first want to thank our sound engineer who's in the back booth. His name is uh, Rashawn Armstead. He's also known as Ghost. He does a great job of making sure our kids uh, look good, sound good, and everything. So I didn't throw him on the program, but I want to everyone to give a quick thank you to Mr. Armstead. There's actually a whole bunch of special thanks on the back on the back cover of your program. Um, if you want to look through, those names all make this possible. Especially with this space. Uh, this is our only auditorium in the North Campus. And uh, we've got concerts tonight, a band concert tomorrow, a band and an orchestra concert on Thursday. This room is very busy, so all the people on that list made it possible for us to have time to rehearse in this space, as well as make sure that it is prepared for us to be able to have our concerts, moving classes around. So all those people really did a lot of great work. Um, there's also a mention to our performing arts boosters there on the bottom of the program. Uh, if you have any interest in becoming a booster, these are people who donate their time, uh, their efforts, and sometimes a little money from to help make sure that our programs have all the things that they need. So if you could take a look at them, if you want to find out, I think I saw a couple of our booster officers here. If you're a booster officer, please raise your hand, wave. We have our, our uh, vice president treasurer over here. Treasure. All right, so we've got some people here. They can help you out with when our meetings are. You can come and find out ways that you can help, not just for our middle school programs, but all the way up through our high school. Um, our next piece is featuring the women of the eighth grade chorus, and it is uh, the Christmas song. It needs no other introduction.
exciting again. Much like the men's chorus that we heard. I'm sorry. I love all the energy. I love seeing you all here tonight. So thank you so much for being here and being a part of this. Um, as our ladies are going back and taking their seats, I also want to put a very big special thank you to our accompanist, Ms. Mrs. Roxanne Angle, who is coming into our classroom. She plays with us a lot of the time. She's a fantastic job. Our next group coming up is our seventh grade full year chorus. So our exploratory chorus is that half year class where they get to try choir out and see if it's something they'd like to stay in or do uh, as they move forward. This seventh grade group is a group that's with me all year. I'm gonna pause for a second while my kids get settled. Thank you. So this group uh, works with me all year. They meet with me at the end of the day, 7th bell. And this is a group that has a chance to really build up a really solid core now, but also throughout the next semester. We're gonna sing three pieces for you. Our first piece is an example of a spiritual called Good News. It's a, it's a style of piece that we do a lot in our choral settings and one that they really took to. So we're gonna start things off with a really high energy piece and we hope you enjoy.
collection is meant to be kind of a funny, exciting, um, kind of like a holiday like joke. Um, but when I introduce this piece, I have to I have to tell you about these kids. How many grandmothers or grandparents do we have here in the audience? Man, these kids love you. I introduced this piece and they were offended. They're like, that ain't funny. I don't want that to happen to my grandma. So I was really excited that um, they got over that. But um, this piece, Grandma Got Run Over by a Reindeer, uh, kind of a fun... I know, right? We did... Yes, you'll hear the whole story in just a moment. But the idea is it's meant to be kind of a fun uh, kind of way to just end their portion of the concert. This is Grandma Got Run Over. Song. They, uh, they did a really nice job with it. This group um, has three more performances coming out for the rest of the year, as do our eighth graders. Um, those will happen in March, the first week of March, second week of March, and then we also have one more in the end of our school year in May. You did a nice job, folks. So, um, as our eighth grade course is coming up, this is a group that meets full year as well. This is a group that came, is made up of students who were in seventh grade course last year in exploratory chorus last year, and I also have a number of students in this next group who are just joining choir here at Winwoods for the first time. So it's been a really, really great chance for this group to work with. Um, we are also split into two different meeting times. So one of them meets six, uh, fifth bell, and one and a half meets sixth bell, and we've only had two practices together as a full group. So it should be a lot of fun putting 60 plus kids on the stage uh, with only those two practices. So we'll also do three pieces to end our, our program. Uh, the first of which is called Gloria Allelu. This is a piece that uh, is upper level musicianship. It has a lot of what we call mixed meter, where our time signatures change every so many measures. Um, so it's not always the standard 4-4, four, four. it'll change from 4-4 four, four, to 3-4 four, to 5-4. A lot of different things that you don't typically see in a lot of middle school music. Uh, our second selection is an acapella piece. Originally in Spanish, we're singing the English version called Ryu Ryu Chiu. 
And our final piece will be uh, a fun wintertime send off with Let It Snow in Winter Wonderland. So here is our eighth grade chorus.
a one more thank you to all of you again. This has been a lot of fun working with them this semester. Um, the rest of our week we'll be turning in music, reflecting on the performance, which Waycross Media is nice enough to record for us and post on YouTube so you can see it forever and ever and ever. Um, but this last piece goes out to all of you. Um, it's a combination of Let It Snow and Winter Wonderland. We wish you all the very best of holiday seasons, hopefully with some white stuff falling from the sky, and uh, we'll go from there. But thank you again for coming here. It's Let It Snow, Winter Wonderland. Oh, hey.